So for the rest of this uh, specific chapter, we are going to discuss how to work with conditional expressions. In this section, you learn how to create a conditional expression, and then, of course, you might have multiple conditions. We are going to discuss that as well. And sometimes you are going to discuss, uh, basically, a particular condition. Based on that condition, you want to take an action using the IF function. So please pay attention to this demonstration in here. What I like to do, I like to go and basically get rid of whatever properties I have and create a brand new calculated member and in this scenario I like to go and basically call this conditional now part of this conditional is, uh, a specific uh, member uh, calculated member I like to go and uh, use a particular uh, function called a string name so I like to get the name and basically go and search for a particular member they call it current member and part of the dimension I can basically go and get a particular dimension name that way and I could check that to be equal to a, a particular value you see that's kind of a conditional statement that you could have in here so you could say if this condition is true you do something about it of course you can go and make it more uh, complicated you could use the ancestor choose the member and basically use the current member that way for the product dimension for for the sake of discussion and choose a particular level in this scenario I choose the category and get the name for the category and if it's equal to bread and we search for that particular category so if I go with that click OK as you see the conditional statement shows one if the value is true and shows zero if the value is not true so the end result will return a true or false value so just wanted to sh show you that and demonstrate that for you of course you could use a variety of different uh, operators such as equal to not equal to greater than less than and so forth so you could basically use any of them there's another function in here uh, part of the member uh, you could basically instead of a uh, current member of course use any other uh, functions such as ancestors uh, parent and so forth which we have already talked about also I like to use the uh, string and talk about IF as you see the IF allows you to go and uh, look for a specific uh, string expression and based on that get a true or false value so what I like to do right now this is my condition ancestor the product current member and this a specific level I get the name if it's equal to bread I show one what I can do I can basically go and uh, just copy paste this because I would like to use it within the IF statement part of this first logical expression I place that that would be my logical expression and then I could basically show the string expression one if the value is true and the experience expression 2 if the value is not true so instead of showing 0 or 1 I can show something else in there so I can sh show for example bring and instead of a spring expression uh, 2 I could specify for example do not uh, let's say bring so let's say if I go click OK if the category is bread I said bring and if it's not I said don't bring so instead of having zero or one I can put anything else I can say doesn't exist or exist I could just accept zero or one so if allows you to go and basically check for a logical expression in there and if it's true you do something with it if it's not you do something else you could also go and deal with uh, basically numerical value what I like to do I like to modify this a little bit this is answers to product current member a category bread I could actually copy paste this and combine it with another logical and uh, expression like for example I could go with cheese I could search for bread or cheese and either or will return a value back to me so I click OK in here so as you see it, in the case of bread or perhaps cheese you could see that you could basically go and find the value uh, probably I have misspelled a uh, few condition in here let's go back and make sure that I've done a right job I say if ancestor 
uh, product current member and then the level the actual category name is e equal to bread or basically ancestor product current member the product uh, subcategory actually is not the category that's the problem I have to go with the subcategory because the cheese is not the category is a subcategory if I click OK now as you see the value has become better because cheese is a subcategory not the category so I fixed that problem you could again go back and use the conditional operators such as or such as and x or and so forth so now what we have talked about in this demonstration we basically uh, discuss the conditional uh, expressions so using the conditional expressions you will get a return value as a true or false and of course you could use the comparison operators in order to get that the specific result set you could use the uh, operators in order to combine multiple conditions as I showed you using or and x or not and then of course here the result is a conditional expression as well so again you would have returned the true or false you could use the if function in order to show a string value instead of 0 and 1 so basically by going through this specific section you have another lab in which allows you to use conditional expression and that will cover up this particular chapter we talked about using MDX expressions I showed you how to display member information using the current member dot name how to display family tree relatives such as parent ancestors and so forth we talked about member properties using the properties function and we talked about conditional expressions such as for example or such as for example if and basically combining them together and getting a result set accordingly so i give you some time to do lab c which is using conditional expressions